Hello, I'm back, and I got a neat little trick for you if you're a Stream Deck user. Um, if you're a live streamer, content creator, or anyone who has a Stream Deck, and you either have guests around or small children, and you want to keep your Stream Deck locked to avoid them pushing buttons that shouldn't be pushed unless you're at your computer, such as going live. So something you could do, um, Stream Deck doesn't, um, by default, have a lock mechanism but you can create one using profiles and folders. It's uh, kind of neat. So kind of like this, you should see on screen and um, on my phone cam here, um, an actual view of my stream deck. So I have a lock button created right here, which is a multi-action. So it, uh, what I have it set to do, um, let me switch hands here. So I have it set to play a sound which I downloaded off the uh, the stream deck uh, marketplace and then I have it to set to switch to a profile so how you're getting this to work is you're actually just creating another profile which we'll get into a sec uh, in a second I just I named a keypad so if I press my lock button plays a sound switches to that profile through multi-action now I have this profile set up um, you can set it up however you want, but I have it set up numbers 1 through 8 because I have the Stream Deck Plus. And each number is a, uh, where are we at, navigation. So each number is a go-to page button. I have four pages selected here. Now, depending on how many numbers you want in your unlock code, or it doesn't have to be numbers, it could be letters, really. All these are set to um, a number and then page one. But my first number that I want to be part of my code, um, I have four pages, so it's a four-digit access code. So for this example, my code starts with four. So all these are set to stay on page one when pushed, so they act like they do nothing. But number four goes to page two, as you can see right here. And then on page two, my second digit is also a four. So that goes to page three. And then on page three, my third digit is a number one. So that goes to page four. And then on page four, my final digit's a seven. And that is a multi-action button, which again, plays a sound and then goes back to my main profile, my default profile. So it kind of looks like this. We'll switch back to my regular profile. And you can see on my phone cam, I'm going to lock it, switches profiles, plays a sound. I enter my access code, or let's just do, see, these do nothing. But if I do the correct sequence, it unlocks. That's pretty cool. There's tons of uh, videos on YouTube where you can follow along and do this for yourself. But that's just a way that you can lock your stream deck.